It's been one year since October the 7th, one year since Hamas terrorists stormed Israel. One year since the most unthinkable violence was unleashed on the Israeli people. The first sign of the attack came with a barrage of rockets. A major land assault was underway, militants forcing their way across the border, with yet more coming from the air. Drones targeted communication towers, knocking out networks that could have raised the alarm. Israel was now infiltrated by armed fighters intent on murder. At this kibbutz, two lay in wait before killing the three people inside this car as the gate opened, allowing the gunman access to the homes inside. Ada Sagi was on the phone to her son when the attack came. She was hearing all kind of sounds that told her that there is something uh, major going on and she went into a safe room that they have in their house and this is the last time we heard from her. Ada was held hostage for 52 days before being released. October the 7th began with dancing for these young Israelis, but the Nova Music Festival became the scene of the worst civilian massacre in Israeli history. As the gunfire began, thousands fled for their vehicles, but the site was already surrounded by militants. Some managed to escape into the surrounding countryside. I told my family that I love them and that I'm happy with the life I had. <laughs> you said goodbye to them. Yeah. And at that point, I was just hoping that I will die from a rocket because I really didn't want to see the terrorist. Two young boys and their mother were among 251 people taken hostage that day. Some paraded in Gaza as trophies of war. But this 85-year-old woman, an image of stoicism in the face of such horror. We will take revenge for this black day. All the places they hide, Israel will turn into cities of ruins. Israel's Prime Minister was as good as his word. The subsequent counter-attack on Gaza has seen tens of thousands of Palestinians killed and more than a million have fled their homes. As Israelis mark the anniversary of the horrific attack of October the 7th, there seems no end to the violence and conflict that's followed it. Olivia Guthrie. ITV News.